In this video, I'm going to perform the intro to Endgloom, and then I'll break it down and talk about it. One, two, ready, go. So, these first four measures of the intro have four chords. They're all two note power chords. The first one is B flat. We're using our first finger on the fifth string, first fret, and our third finger on the fourth string, third fret. So then we shift to the G5, which starts on the sixth string, third fret, with our first finger, and then our third finger goes to the fifth string, third fret. So we're just moving the same shape around to different strings, different frets. So we start with B flat 5, then we go to the G5. Then we move down two frets to start uh, with the sixth string, first fret, first finger. And then the third finger is going on the fifth string, third fret. And then we shift up to the fourth fret of the sixth string our first finger, and then our third finger goes in the fifth string, sixth fret. So, like always, it's a good idea to first just move your hands through the chord shapes without strumming. The sooner that you see the pattern in it, the easier it's going to be for you to remember what you're supposed to do. So, a good first step is just to Begin switching with your left hand between the chord shapes. B flat five, G five, F five, A flat five. Now, in this song, we're starting to get into some down and up strumming, so it's going to be real important that you pay attention to that. And fortunately, the strumming has a pattern to it as well, which once you see it, will make it easier to remember. So, the first measure. We begin on the B flat 5, down, up, down. Then we shift to our G5, and there we go, up, down, down, up, down. So when you put those two together, you get down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. And then for the F5 and the A flat 5, the rhythm pattern is the same. So it's down. Then you're essentially starting to repeat the pattern again, going B flat five, down, up, down, G five, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, and you just hold it. So again, the, the strumming pattern is for that intro is down, up, down, down. In the tab, I give you a clue about which ones are down and up. The things that look like staples mean a downstroke, and the things that look like V's mean upstroke. So you want to make sure that you're reading the tab when you practice this.